My first guest tonight is currently the longest serving late night host on TV. He's the old man of the mountain. He's the Mandarin without melanin. Please welcome Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the Ed Sullivan Theater. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, sir, you've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> Last time you were here, you were with Dave. That's right. Yeah, yeah. David Letterman. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was a couple of years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to congratulate you. You're doing an amazing job. This guy's doing a great job. Oh, thanks very much. You're doing a great job. Thanks very much. I mean that from my heart. I caught, I never missed a show. I caught Tuesday's show. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross, I think it was. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, yeah. You know, it's funny. That night, and I don't know why, I was thinking about you. I knew it. Yeah. I didn't say anything to anybody, but in here. I was watching the TV so hard that night. Yeah. And I could see yeah. I was getting into your head. Yeah. And yeah. I was all the way back in LA. Wow. Where I was on Tuesday. Exactly. <laughs> You know, talk about this with Tig Notaro, my next guest tonight. Mm -hmm. Talk with us about her. She wants to talk to you. I heard. She okay. Wants to talk yeah, to you I saw her this. backstage. Yeah. She's the next yeah. One on. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, by the way, uh, I I know you're a, a fan of Dave's. I'm a huge fan of Dave's. You wrote a. This is Dave Letterman again. Is that Dave right? Letterman? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Also, Dave, the guy from Wendy's. But, yes. Um, <laughs> Wendy's but, has the best burger. Uh, the square. Yeah, yeah, David Letterman. Well, we all, we grew up revering of course, David of Letterman. Dave is the best. You yeah. wrote a, a lovely a tribute to him in EW right before he left uh, As this As he was stage. departing uh, this stage, uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to write an appreciation piece, and mm -hmm. so I wrote a piece about Dave. And, uh, did you ever hear from him? Did, did, like, did he ever uh, say thanks for that? Or did he talk to you after he's left? <laughs> I did here? hear from him, yes. Okay. I did hear from him. Uh, what happened was I wrote this nice appreciation piece uh, of Dave, and I just said how much he meant to me and to all the comedians of my generation. And then word came back that Dave appreciated what I had written and that he'd be sending me something my way. And I was like, this is, I mean, sure. I was excited, and yeah. I thought this is going to be like an amazing bottle of wine, chocolates, uh, Hummel figurines that are hard to find. This is going to be something <laughs> really extraordinary. And I was, I was looking forward to it, but I thought this would be cool. So... It's the next day, and it's an hour before the show. And you know the way I can talk to you because you're a fellow host. Sure. Uh, you're before an hour before the show, you're concentrating, you're getting ready. Yeah, pressure you're, cooker. Yeah, body's being waxed, oiled, and <laughs> you're being lowered into the suit. Yeah, exactly. And you know, the wardrobe guy, stop eating. Uh, and <laughs> and I uh, I hear there's a truck that's trying to get onto the Warner Brothers lot in Los Angeles, and it's having a hard time getting on the lot. And I said, what do you mean? They said, well, it's too wide. The truck is so big, it can't get on the lot, and it's the carrying the gift from Dave. <laughs> My mind starts to go nuts, because you and I, we've done well, but we've done okay. This guy... It's Dave. It's Dave. He owns the entire state of Montana, you know? Oh, yeah. He, he had the whole he, thing waxed. Yeah, he had it all... He has... He's... A very wealthy man, mm -hmm. and he's got his, you know, fingers in every pot, if that's even an expression. And it's not. It's not. That was terrible. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, Unless the pot has pie in the it. Probably, yeah, I know. It's, it's yeah. Tuesday. It's early in the week, and I have trouble. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's Friday. We'll fix that. It's Friday. <laughs> no! You don't edit that out. You keep that in. That's the magic! You've got to learn, Colbert! So, the truck can't get on the lot. He's getting me back on track. All right. 
truck can't get on the lot, and I'm going crazy because this is like a, he's a car guy. This guy has Porsches. I'm thinking he's giving me a vintage Porsche. Sure. My mind went there. Yeah. I'm, this is amazing. I'm going to have to get the crazy leather gloves. <laughs> then they tell me it's here and it's ready. I go downstairs. I walk outside, right outside my stage. The truck is unloaded. Two cowboys in full chaps, cowboy hats, holding the biggest, most beautiful horse. Horse! Horse! <laughs> I have ever seen. Do you, now, do you the, ride horses? No, I don't ride horses. And here's the thing, the men, they give me, hand me a lovely note from Dave, they say goodbye, and they leave. Look at my expression after they've left. Look at the expression on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man who doesn't know what to do with a horse. Turns out, I look into it. You gotta feed them, you've gotta board them, you've gotta treat them humanely. Everyone I tell says, it's from David Letterman. Oh, and guess what the horse's name is? Dave. Thank you. <laughs> was it really Dave? Or was yes, it the horse's real name is Dave. Does it answer? He to searched the... all of the world for a horse named Dave. <laughs> Narcissism, maybe, and uh... <laughs> So then Do I you have, have a farm? No, I don't have a farm. <laughs> Stephen, you know me. I don't have a farm. I've never been I invited. barely have a house. I've never been invited to your house. I've invested you. very poorly. And uh, <laughs> so I, uh, insanity, I, I, I have to room it. I have to board it. Then I, get a, I say, you know what? Dave gave me a horse. I'm going to ride that horse and learn how to ride it. I go out to the place where I'm spending a lot of money to ride it. I go to get on it. And they say, I wouldn't get on that horse if I were you. I said, why not? And they said, that horse is crazy. <laughs> not kidding. This is all 100% true. Then they said, that horse is so crazy that it's thrown two people that have tried to ride it. If that horse is going to stay here, you have to get a letter, a legal letter drawn up by a lawyer, an expensive horse lawyer, <laughs> that will indemnify you in case the horse injures anybody. So I do that. That costs a lot of money. Then I'm getting curious, and I say to the people taking care of the horse, because by this point, one of my children is no longer being schooled. This is costing so much. Sure. It's the boy. It wasn't going to work out anyway. <laughs> He's good with his hands. The thing is, <laughs> they say, I say to the guy, I say, like, this horse is probably getting kind of old, though, right? And he went, oh, no. This is a young horse. It's going to live a long time. <laughs> I'm going insane. I don't know what to do. It's draining. It's costs a fortune, and I have the horse for two years. Finally, my wife cracks it. God bless her. She found a place, and this is not a joke. I have the real website where the horse can live. It's an equine massage center where the horse... This is real. This is... Think Four Seasons Resort for horse. We donated the horse, and what happens is students massage the horse all day long so it learns... So they learn how to massage a horse. And it's so an the ho insane horse. It's an insane horse, but no one's riding it. It's getting massaged all day long. <laughs> if I was the horse, I'd be suspicious, thinking they're tenderizing me. But, <laughs> but no. Massaged all day long. The horse is in heaven. And the horse, this is a real picture of Dave the horse at the massage center, <laughs> has met and fallen in love with another horse, coincidentally named Charlie Rose. So <laughs> that's a true story. Wow. Wow. That is a true story. I learned then... I don't, I don't care if it's true or not. I, I know. enjoyed it so much. I learned then that Dave is a genius, but he's an evil genius. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. You're going to be all right? It's all going to be good. No, uh, I, I feel very good. Is this good. mine? Where's mine? That's is that yours mine? right there. That's yours right there. Oh. No, this is like a vacation. I just I asked you one question. And, <laughs> and we're, we're... How many is? We're nine minutes into your answer. <laughs> When you get a guest like you, I how excited are you? When you get a guest like you, are like, oh, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I don't get guests like me. Um, <laughs> you, you both complimented yourself and insulted your show. I complimented at the same myself. Time. <laughs> I complimented myself while putting down my show and then waved to a crowd. <laughs> that was the triple. That was the trifecta right there. That's. Rarely been done. Uh, we got to take a little break. Uh, stick around. We'll be right back with more Conan O'Brien.